the look inside the plant ahead of the disastrous March 11th anniversary sheds light on the colossal effort by plant operators to decommission the nuclear reactors, an endeavor that is expected to take out 40 years. The video tour of the plant starts off with rows of large tanks where the contaminated water used to cool the reactors are stored. Each container can hold up to 1,000 tons of water, which gets filled up in just two and a half days. There are currently 930 of these tanks, and already 75% have been filled. Although the plant operators plan to increase capacity, by an additional 700,000 tons, they're also running out of space. Officials hope that this water purification system will remove 65 different nuclear particles at a pace of 500 tons a day when completed. The operator TEPCO expects that the water's contamination levels will be reduced to low enough levels to release it into the ocean. Have you ever noticed how weird it starts to get when you just stop breathing? Although it's unclear how they will be able to overcome the public protest over this plan. But the most important task in decommissioning the reactors is removal of the fuel rods, a process which will begin in November. TEPCO will begin with the 1,533 spent fuel rods from the reactor unit number four and store them in this pool. Outside, work is underway to build a protective cover for transferring the fuel rods. There is still no plan to remove the fuel rods from the other reactor units, which are much more damaged than these. Although the government's aim is to finish decommissioning the plant in 30 to 40 years, the plant also relies on technological advances, an assumption that presents a profound challenge as Japan struggles to contain this daunting nuclear crisis. Have you ever noticed how weird it starts to get when you just stop breathing?